Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Vashon Jones. Hopefully, everyone is doing well out there. So, you guys know I did it. I brought the new M1 MacBook Pro, and I didn't do what most people thought I would do, which was super upgraded out. Nope, I took the stock appliance model directly from the Apple store. It's sitting there on the table. It's still in this packaging. The saran wrap is still on. I'm not going to unbox it and all that stuff today. Um, I'm just going to talk about why I made this particular uh, purchase. And I hope the information that I give actually helps someone in their purchase decisions if you're on the line and are thinking about purchasing one. So the first thing to think of is, do you actually need a new computer or is it a want? Is it a need? Is it a want? Is it a need? Is it a want? Sometimes those things feel very interchangeable. Um, so mine was leaning more uh, to the need side. <laughs> I was about to say want, um, even though it was about 5149, 5149. Uh, on that and so let me explain that 51% yeah I needed one 49% uh, was um, the fact that I wanted one I wanted to test out the new M1 chip definitely um, because it's new I mean I when it went from power PC to Intel I switched and um, jumped on that and now this is new change 18, 19 years later with Apple um, to the M1 chip made by Apple. And that's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be um, fast. It's going to be integrated. It's going to be like being a business owner versus an employee and being fragmented in um, what you can do. When you own it, you can make the decisions. Homeowner versus renter, right? Renter can't bring dogs maybe but a owner eh, it's my house do what i want to do that's what apple um, has pretty much done to the computer um so that was one factor in my um purchase number one i wanted to sit on the bed and get my work done and be productive um don't really use pages and all that stuff um on um the iphone for real productivity can i yes absolutely um do i no i don't um and so i got rid of my 15 inch macbook pro um that was kitted out with the uh, 16 gigs of ram and you know all the fast this and the terabyte hard drive and all that stuff um about six months ago and i wanted to see if i could do without it and um, it was a struggle <laughs> to do without it. So nevertheless, uh, this is what I ended up with and I'm glad I waited. Now, why did I call this a Mac appliance? Um, because it's just like your coffee maker. If you don't get the super duper one when you get it and make that purchase, then it's going to be what you purchased it to be. And when there's an upgrade, you can't upgrade. You just got to buy a new one. And I figured if it's going to be an appliance, I might as well get the um, cheapest one that I can, especially since this is going to be the slowest M1 Mac that they ever make. What do I mean by that? Well, the next one is going to be faster, which would make this the slowest one they would ever make. And so just to get a foray, an entry into... Um, the world of M1 chipsets and Big Sur and the new way of computing, um, according to the gospel of Apple, then uh, I figured it would be good to start off with their pro line. Um, another reason I skipped over up until now, the uh, touch bar. I was very afraid of it. I'm coming from Apple early days, so I'm used to the F1 keys. I talked to a couple of blind people that have the touch bar and they use it effectively. And I said, since I've been without a Mac with F1 keys, as far as a laptop is concerned, then I would um, try it out since I'm trying all things new on the M1. 
Um, so I can't wait for that. That was definitely a decision on the want side, not on the need side of things. Um, so we got product productiveness while being mobile, right? We got the touch bar. Um, we got the fact that it's a brand new architecture, a brand new platform. Um, and that was some of the reasons. Plus it is reported to be super, super fast. And that's the reason why I didn't get 16 gigs of RAM because the eight gigs are gonna be faster than the 16 gigs of RAM that I had before. Um, and because it's an appliance and I know in a year, year and a half, I'm gonna be getting a new one, I decided um, to just walk into Apple and pick up one and not customize uh, this particular one. Guess, guess what? I can pretty much guarantee you six months from now, they're going to have a new one and <laughs> I'm going to want it. And that's why I said, if you guys can do without a computer, do without it, right? And when you absolutely need one, get the latest and greatest that they have at that particular time. Now, I could have waited, you know, I mean, I guess I could have waited. I mean, I, if I didn't have the money, I would have to have waited, right? So yeah, all right, so listen, I'm going to do part two of this particular video uh, next week, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what my, um, I won't say my expectations, because I know it's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna tell you exactly what my experience has been working with the M1 Mac um, Book Pro 13 inch, with touch bar. Oh, the touch ID for the Mac. You remember how we would touch the phone um, and it would unlock? Yeah, it's on this particular Mac. So that was another reason why I wanted it. Then I wanted to test out the Thunderbolt 4 um, with the OWC stuff that's out. If you don't know about OWC, just look it up. Um, you'll find lots of gadgets there. So listen, this is actually the first video that I've recorded on my iPhone 12 Pro um, since I had it. I took two pictures today of a couple of saxophones that um, I needed to do some business with. But outside of that, this is the first video. So hopefully you guys like it. Um, hopefully that helps someone. And um, if you don't know what this is a video of, this is me pointing to the computer and shrink wrap that is sitting right there on the table that I'm gonna open up and talk to you about next week. So remember, let's change the world. Oh, and I wanted to try Big Sur too, but I didn't wanna upgrade my 27 inch iMac to Big Sur because of the audio and video production stuff in the studio. So um, I definitely wanted to try out Big Sur. Definitely couldn't upgrade production equipment. And so that is another factor as well. Let's change the world. Let's change the world together.